So you just wanna launch a minimal Shopify website, but it looks overwhelming and you don't know where to start? I'm here to help you out by showing how to make a minimalist Shopify theme. After watching this step-by-step -step tutorial, you'll be able to create a Shopify website from scratch. All right, let's get to the Shopify website design tutorial. After opening Shopify, first let's go to the online store and then select themes. There you'll see the options to choose from. This time we'll go with a basic Dawn theme. So click on the add button right here. It will take a few moments to load, but once that's done, select customize. The first thing to do is to adjust the color scheme. Go to settings, then colors. Let's add a new scheme and change the background to gray. You might have some different color palettes you like for your website, so feel free to go with those. Anyhow, we also wanna change the font. To do that, go back and click on typography and then change. I want a DM Sans font as it perfectly fits the minimal tone I wanna create. So I'll just search for that and then apply. At the very top, there's also an announcement bar. Let's change the text there to something else. Type in a nice little welcome message to make your customers feel welcomed. Okay, next click on the header and change the desktop logo position to the middle center. I'll also suggest turning off the sticky header. It will make it so that when you scroll up, the header doesn't pop up and take half the screen. Now you might have your website logo that you wanna use. I'll show you how to upload it. Go to theme settings, click logo, and select image if you wanna upload from your computer. There's also an option to choose from a selection of free images. Anyhow, whichever method you choose, the logo automatically gets applied to the header of your website. To make it bigger or smaller, you can use this desktop logo with slider. Next, in this Shopify Dawn theme customization, I'll show how to change this huge image banner. Simply click on it and then press on select image right here. Just like with the logo, you can either pick a free option or upload one from your computer. I'll select an image I've created on Canva. You can also adjust its settings like opacity, banner height, or alignment. There's also header text on the banner that you can change or remove, and you can insert more text by pressing this plus button. So far, nothing too difficult in this how to make minimalist Shopify theme tutorial, right? So if you're dreaming of launching your very first Shopify website at the lowest price possible, make sure to use our discount. You can do that by scanning the QR code on the screen or following a link from the description. Besides, since you watched up until now, I have a little surprise for you. I've got this template as a free download. Yeah, you can just grab it from the description, upload it, and start selling. Normally it costs something like 80 to $200. As for now, let's continue with this minimal Shopify theme tutorial. There's plenty of neat stuff left to learn. With that said, let's add some shopping categories. Just click this plus button and then select the add section and collection list. As you see, three default collections popped up right away. You can title them however you want and then insert your own real collections by simply selecting one of them. I'll go with my pre-created phone cases for the first one, laptop cases for the second one, and accessories for the third. Next, it would be nice to have an about us page. Just like before, let's click on this plus button and this time choose image with text. Rewrite the generated text. Since it's an about us section, let's name it like that. Another important thing here is to edit the label button. After selecting it, you can rename it and add a link right here by selecting the button link option. Then simply type in about us since that's the page where we want this button to take us. Now we want to add a picture for this section. We can use Canva to get the image we want. If you don't know how to do that, let me show you. On the Canva website, click on create new design. Select dimensions 19 by 20 by 1080. Now we go to elements, select grid since we wanna combine two images and add this option. For the image itself, there are a lot to choose from on Canva, but we can also upload our own, so let's do that. After uploading the images, you can simply drag them in. Once you get the image you like, to download, click on share on the right top corner. There you'll see some extra options and a download button. Now go back to your Shopify store creation. Select the default image from your About Us section and then click on select image on the right. Find the image you've just created on Canva. After that, you can adjust it a bit more with the settings on the right. You can make it overlap with the text, make the image bigger or smaller, and so on. Now, some items on your Shopify website might need a little bit of extra attention. So let's create a featured collection. Adding it is a similar process to the shop categories. Just select featured collection instead. Then you can rename the section, add the items, pricing, and so on. To add products, go to the collections tab. There you can create new item list and then add them to the featured section. Next in this guide on how to create a minimal Shopify theme, let's add another section to our website. This time select slideshow. This will be our other collections. Just like before, let's add an image for the first one and name it newest collection. And the second one we can name spring sale. 
On the right side menu, we can also adjust how many slides we want, but I think you get the gist here, so let's move on. On second thought, before we move on, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video and want more content from us. All right, you've guessed it, right? Now we'll add another section. Multicolumn is great for things like user reviews. You can add text as their comments as well as their photos and names. As per usual, the settings are on the right. There you can adjust the image width and select the number of columns, which are reviews in this case. There are some other options, but they don't really differ much from previous sections. You probably also wanna have your business social media accounts on your website. For that, we can use the same multi-column method again. So just add another one, rename it, and increase the columns to let's say eight. Use a button label for the link to Instagram. After that, just add the photos that match your Instagram profile. To keep your customers close, you need to add an email signup. After adding the section, rename the header. I'll use it as an advert naming the benefit my customers will get for subscribing. As per usual, here we can select a color scheme, change padding, and a few other things. But it should be good enough with mostly default settings. Now, if we scroll down to the very bottom of our website, we can see that it's kind of empty. So let's edit the footer to make it look better. First, let's add the logo as we did for the header at the beginning of this Shopify tutorial. Then we can also add our social media account links. Change the description text to something like follow our socials and then scroll down and select social media. Enter your links there and it will automatically generate interactive buttons on the footer. Then we can add another section with links related to our business or just a quick links menu. To do that, click on add block right here and then select menu. So that's about it. Let's scroll up and down to see if everything looks as we want it to. Then hit save and have another look by clicking on those three dots and preview. So yeah, that's about it in this Shopify tutorial for beginners. That was rather quick, wasn't it? The best part, this minimal Shopify theme actually looks great. Yeah, it's quite simple, but it gets the job done. Besides, customizing Shopify theme is really not that hard, so you can change it anytime. Canva was a great help to get the images I wanted, but even without it, it's possible to get a great looking Shopify website. Anyhow, if you like this website theme for dropshipping too, you can start using it for free by following the link in the description. It will allow you to launch your Shopify shop faster. And if you're planning to have your own crack at creating your Shopify website, don't forget to use our Shopify discount deal that's on screen. That would be all for me in this one. See you guys soon.